Good morning, y'all. Tracy here with Just Dig It Farms. Over the next couple of days, we're going to be planting the gardens. We've got a good bit growing in the garden already. The garlic is going great. It is doing really, really well. We planted that in October of last year, and won't be long, we'll be harvesting garlic. And the onions that we planted in November of last year, the ones that survived, are doing really well. Um, a few weeks ago, I planted broccoli, cauliflower, cabbages, kale, chard, um, kohlrabi, collards. I planted all those cool season things. And back in February, about the second or third week in February, I sowed carrot seeds and they're all coming up good. I also sowed beet seeds and they were coming up really good. And this last frost we had, it, it got them, it got most of them. So I'm gonna try to go ahead and re-sow those. We planted the potatoes in February and they're all coming up. I just healed those up yesterday. I planted a few more roses. We've planted fruit trees. So we've been planting. But over the next few days, I'm going to be planting everything that's in the greenhouse and we're gonna be sowing our seed, our beans and corn and okra and all of those type things. And this greenhouse is full of plants that I've been growing since, some of them since January, most of them since February. But this has been my best seed starting year, I think that I've ever had. Everything has done really well. I've had a lot of success with starting my seeds this year, and I'm super happy about that. So let me show you what all we're gonna be planting over the next few days. I hadn't lost my touch. What? I called up a big old owl on the back porch. You did? He was sitting there looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> I got it on video, but I, you can't see it too good. Wow, I heard you back he, there. He was just right there, just. I thought and maybe. And the birds, the birds were diving at it, and he'd go, there he is. You hear him? Um. <laughs> they like to hear that. There it goes. Look, there they go. <laughs> There's an Easter egg that was hid in here that we never found on Easter. So I just kind of left it in here. But this is my floret seeds. These are zinnias and celosias. Some more floret zinnias and celosias in the back back here that I never did get potted up. But I'm probably just going to plant them straight from this tray here. A sage chamomile, chives, foxgloves, oreganos, and roselles, hyssop, echinacea, yarrow, sweet annie, cilantro. This is Dahlia Bee's Choice from the Floret Collection. More herbs. Over here is basils and some tomatoes that are never potted up. But over here is all the tomatoes that I did pot up. Bunches of them. They're doing really well. They're ready to go in the ground. Different peppers, mostly bell peppers. This is okra that I started from seed. Marigolds, nasturtiums, calendulas, cosmos that I actually started a little too early. They've bloomed out before I could even get them in the ground. Melons and cantaloupes and cucumbers. So I think we're okay with the weather now. I hope so. Today is April the 6th. In the past few nights, we've had some lows in the 40s, which we're usually about two to three degrees colder than what they say. So for here, for us, we've actually been around 38, 37. And I held off on planting my tomatoes and peppers and, and all of those things until after we got past this little cold snap. Because tomatoes can take it to 33. They'll, they'll survive. 
but below 33, they're gonna die. And a low of 38 is gonna slow them down and stunt their growth and kind of hurt them a little bit. So I'm glad that I held off and I hope we're in the clear now because over the next few days, I will be getting these things in the ground and I just hope we don't have a late freeze. You never know, you never know with our weather what's gonna happen. I hope and pray we're gonna be safe with our weather to go ahead and get these in the ground. I've got okra plants in the greenhouse that I started a few weeks ago, but those are going to go in the potage garden beds. Right here in this market garden area, I'm gonna sow seeds of okra. So I'm doing jing orange, Clemson spineless and jambalaya. I'm holding off on planting the starts that I have in the greenhouse for another week or so. I'm waiting on the soil to warm up a little bit before I get those out here and in the ground. But I'm gonna go ahead and sow these seeds today. So I'll have a lot of okra coming in in the protege garden from my seed starts. And then a little bit later, I'll have this okra out here that I'm sowing seeds will come in a little bit later. And then if I have room in the protege garden beds, I'll come back a few weeks later after I plant those starts and I'll sow some more seeds. And that way I've got okra coming in all summer long and at different times so that we can have a really good harvest of okra because we love okra here, love it. This garden ended up being a really weird shape, so I made rows in this circle shape. It's almost in a rainbow shape, and I'm going to plant Coghill sunflowers. On the, fur, on the outside three rows, I'm going to do the Coghill sunflowers, and on the inside rows, we're going to do sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are in the Morning Glory family, and they run. So it's really not going to matter if they run all under the sunflowers. I think it'll be fine. We have to wait for the weather to warm up a pretty good bit before we start planting sweet potatoes. And that's usually in May. So I'm thinking that these will be up pretty good. And that way the, the uh, sweet potatoes won't choke out the sunflowers. And it won't hurt that they're running all around it. There's all different kinds in here. So we've got Sun Gold Dwarf, Pro Cut White Light, Pro Cut Plum. This one's probably my favorite. Um, chocolate Cherry. That's probably my favorite too. And Pro Cut White Night and Pro Cut Lemon Sunflower. These are gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty in here. And I'm, I've got plenty of them, so I'll be sowing some in the potage beds too. So Cog Hill partnered with Hulse and did this sunflower collection, just like we partnered with Hulse and did our medicinal herb seed collection. So if you wanna get some of these sunflowers or our herbs, uh, I'll put a link in the description below. You can go over to Haas and you can order some. They're going to be beautiful this summer.
this little section right here turned out to be like an odd little corner of the garden here. Over here, I'm gonna have winter squash growing and then later on, I'm gonna plant some pumpkins there. But in this little odd corner, I'm doing these zinnias here, the Queen Lime series zinnias because that's gonna spread out and take up all this space. And I think it'll be okay if they just kind of spread under the zinnias. I think it'll be all right. Um, but it was like a pretty good size space. It was kind of odd. So I thought zinnias would work good and that'll also help bring in the pollinators. Um, I'm doing the lime with blotch queenie, key lime pie, lime orange and lime red we are at the moment of truth i've been waiting on this day for a long time our goat fence is almost totally done it's to a point where i'm gonna let the goats out the gate today mm. so this is gonna be fantastic we're gonna open up this little gate and they are going to have all of this pasture all of this all of that they love eating that red stuff i don't know what the name of that is i can't remember but it's gonna be good come on babies here they come <sighs> don't look at bo <laughs> come on babies he's not sure <laughs> Bo's like, I don't know about Come this. Come on, babies. Domino, buddy, he's chowing down. Hey, I want him to come on out. Come on, <laughs> Chloe. Look at, look at him. They're just hammering. Look at him right here. They love this. Oh, they're happy now. I'm planting some peaches and cream corn. I love this stuff, especially on the grill. It is so sweet. So we're gonna see. Usually it does pretty good down in this bottom because when it rains, it comes off that hill and it stays not real wet, but on a drought year, it really makes a difference down in this little bottom. And I got some Silver Queen too I'm gonna plant. Probably two or three rows of it. Yellow doll. So we got yellow doll. We got crimson sweet. Crenshaw melons. These are... Norday Carmes, it's like a cantaloupe kind of melon. And then this is Ambrosia cantaloupe from Hoss. We're gonna try it this year. So we have three rows of corn here, peaches and cream, and two rows of Silver King, or is it Queen? I think it was Queen. Silver Queen, gotta have the Queen. And we found, Tracy found another bag of Honey Select Sweet Corn Hoss we got last year at the uh, what meet and greet Great Fall Garden Great Festival. Great Fall Garden Festival. They were giving away free, so well they weren't free. They were a dollar, I okay. think, a pack. So anyway, we're gonna try these. We got a row of honey select sweet corn. Can't go wrong with honey. Champ, we're gonna have some corn, buddy. We're gonna have some corn. We're gonna watch our corn pop up in rows. Every night be tucked in close to you. Raise our kids with the good Lord blessed. Point our rocking chairs toward the west. <laughs> Where the green grass grows. 
we're gonna try these zipper peas. Um, it was a while back, 2022. I was over at a friend's of mine's house, um, Nathan and Sharice, and they were sitting on the porch shelling peas. Nathan said, you ever tried zipper peas? And I was like, I don't think so. So he said, here, he gave me a bunch of them. Seeds, we're gonna try them. We're gonna pop them up in rows here. Nathan was our ring bearer in our wedding. That's correct. <laughs> and now he's got his own little family. Yeah, he's got a farm too. He, they yeah. grow a lot. Yeah. Thanks, Nathan and Sharice. Hey y'all, today is Monday, April the 8th, and it's about 1.30 p.m. here in Central Alabama. And today is the solar eclipse is happening all across the United States. I don't know that we're gonna get to experience it here in Alabama like other states in the United States are going to, but I think it's super cool. It's, God never ceases to amaze me. I don't know how you could look at something so detailed like that and so it aligns just perfectly in, in, in a huge atmosphere full of space and just so detailed and so magnificent. I don't know how you could look at something like that and see what happens in our in the earth and in our universe and in the atmosphere and not believe in God. I, I just don't know how. He never ceases to amaze me. It's absolutely amazing. So today on Solar Eclipse Day, I am planting summer squash. I'm planting uh, gentry and yellow early crookneck and I'm planting sunburst, which is like the little patty pan squash and I am planting some nasturtiums as a companion plant to that. I usually always companion plant my squashes with nasturtium and radishes because they're really good companions. They help with squash bugs, uh, supposed to help with squash vine borer and all kinds of other issues. So they're really good companions. And I usually always plant my squash with nasturtiums and radishes. And that's what I'm doing here today. So I just finished planting my squashes and now on the ends of my bed here, I'm going to plant these dahlias. And this is dahlias beast choice from my Forex seed collection that I ordered. So I'm about to plant these in this whole little space right here on the end of my squash bed. And this will attract pollinators to come help pollinate all the squash so we can have some fruit. Look how weird it looks. It looks really weird out here right now. I just looked up and it said for Alabama, we're supposed to be getting a partial eclipse from 12.30 to 3.30. And it is a little after 1.30 right now. And it looks really weird out here. It's like a filter is on the whole farm. And everything is just still and quiet. The animals are quiet. It's just weird. I wonder if the solar eclipse is going to make things grow better. <laughs> Maybe. I wish I would have got me some of those glasses so I could look at it. I'm having to make myself not look at it. Well, you ain't gonna blind, Bristol, Oh no, I'm not gonna look at it. It's crazy. It's getting darker and darker, isn't it? So weird looking. It even feels weird out It does there. feel weird. It feels still and you know how it gets right before a tornado? How it kind of gets real still? Like there's no wind blowing. There's birds chirping, but that's like it. It's like so still. And like a weird filter over everything. Pretty cool, really. It's gonna be interesting to see how these things grow. You know, like when you plant with the different phases of the moon, I wonder what happens when you plant with the solar eclipse. It's gonna be pretty interesting to see how these plants do.
I just finished planting my summer squash and now I'm gonna plant my first bed here in winter squash. These are butternut squash. We love winter squash around here. Butternut, spaghetti squash, the red curry. Um, we love all those winter squash. And they're so wonderful to grow because when you harvest them, they store for a really long time. And we don't have a root cellar yet. It's on our list. Jean is going to build us a root cellar one day. But for right now, we don't have a root cellar and storing all of these vegetables is one of our main problems. So it's pretty awesome to have a pantry full of winter squash because I know they'll store for a long time and we like to eat them. I had a little seed eater in my greenhouse that kept coming and stealing my squash and cucumber and melon seeds. So I didn't have as many plants to make it as I really needed and as I hoped for. So I'm gonna plant the ones that I have and then I'm also gonna plant seeds as well in here. And that'll also give me a little succession harvesting on the winter squash. So it actually works out okay. I'm also planting some other winter squash today besides just my butternut. I've got one here called kabocha, I think is how you say it. Um, I've never planted it before. I've never had it, ate it before, but I got these uh, seeds from Hall, so I thought it looked like a pretty interesting winter squash, so I'm gonna try it. I'm also planting this red curry squash, which is a really, really good winter squash. I got this from uh, Sheila at Hall's Tools. We had went to their house a couple of years ago and had dinner with them and she fixed us some of this red curry squash that they had grown. And it was so, so delicious the way she fixed it. And um, she gave me some seeds and I planted them last year, but they didn't do very well last year. And it was because the gardener wasn't doing very well last year. But I'm gonna give it a try again this year because they're so delicious. And it's uh, K-U-R-I is how you spell this one. I've also got some Heavenly Hubbard squash, which that's what this one looks like right here. This is a good, I don't know about how it tastes or cooking with it. I'm not really sure. I might try it if I can this year, but um, I'm growing it because it's a good trap crop. The, the Hubbard squash is a really good trap crop squash. The squash bugs will go to this one before everybody else. So this one will kind of attract the squash bugs. And um, then you can come and just pull this plant up and discard it. And it'll help keep them off of your other squash plants longer. So that's why I'm growing this one. Um, we'll see how it goes. If I end up being able to keep the plant and have some squash from it, then I'm definitely going to try to cook it and see how it tastes. But I'm mainly growing it as a trap crop. I'm also trying this speckled hound squash. Um, it is, it really looks more like a pumpkin and it may be just a pumpkin. I'm really not sure, but I'm gonna try to grow it and we're gonna eat it and see how it tastes as well. It's so pretty. I love that cheesy orange color with the green. It's beautiful. So I'm gonna try it and see how it does. And I don't have any spaghetti squash seed I totally forgot about growing that one. Isn't that crazy? But um, I have to get some of those seeds and plant a few of those as well. I still have plenty, still have plenty of time for the winter squash. So I'm gonna get these in the ground and I've got more nasturtiums in the greenhouse that I'm gonna be planting in this bed as a companion plant with the winter squash as well. Good morning, y'all. It is the next day and I had big plans of getting a lot more planting done today. As you can see, I still have a greenhouse full of plants that need to be in the ground. And it is a rainy, yucky day today. And I think tomorrow is even supposed to be worse. The weather uh, channel says possible hail and tornadoes tomorrow. So it don't look like I'm gonna get a whole lot of planting done today or tomorrow. So today I'm just gonna work in my greenhouse a little bit. I've got some herbs that I wanna get potted up. I'm gonna be planting those a little bit later on down the road, a couple of more weeks probably. 
and they're tiny in these little cell trays so i want to go ahead and get those potted up so that their roots can have room to grow and they can get a little bit bigger before i put them in the ground today's a great day to do that and work on that i love rainy days in the greenhouse so that's what i'm going to be doing mostly today but i wanted to just take a minute and close out this video and tell you guys thank you so much for hanging out with sheen and me this weekend god bless you and i'll see y'all next week